We've had some guests reveal some pretty unusual hobbies, so when we heard about what you collect, we couldn't wait to ask you about it. So will you share with everyone what that is? You don't mean my varicose veins in the freezer, do you? No, no, no. That's no. The, the other one. That's interesting Along too. Along with all the dead. Okay. You even yeah. had a frozen <laughs> kitten once. Oh, um, Jesus. I always say that I had, I had, when people say, did you have plastic surgery? I say, well, I had, I, I'm Polish. I'm 100% Polish, so okay. I had uh -huh. Polish plastic surgery, which is for hip replacements and my varicose veins removed. Okay, okay. So nice. they were in the refrigerator for I was just fascinated oh, by them. Okay. No, I, um. But something about obituaries? Yes. Yes. I really have a thing those? about obituaries. Um, <laughs> I read them <laughs> religiously, dare I say, because you know, you have to pay for every single word in an obituary. Yeah. And what people put in is so special sometimes. You know, mm -hmm. um, it's, and you know that they wanted people, oh, strangers who are reading this, they wanted them to know something about this, this man or this woman. Yeah. You know, one's like, you know, he always helped his neighbors uh, rake their leaves. Right. <laughs> You know, they're the most touching things. What I'm seeing more frequently now, too, are people who decided to take their own lives, and they will wow. say that as opposed to hide it, I think, because, um, but yes, I, I've always loved doing collages, and um, I now kind of do an homage with the obituary. Okay. Um, uh, so that's what I, I do. That's what an awesome. interesting yeah. hobby. But you know what? Besides your hobbies, you're a great actress. That's yes. what we yes. love you for. <laughs> and you're in a new play called Spiel. It's about the deep water horizon explosion, which is considered the worst um, oil spill in yeah. history. Why is this role so important to you? Well, it's, um, you know, after Malcolm in the Middle, and a lot of stuff changed in my life. My husband filed for a divorce, and... Um, and he continued working nonstop, and mm -hmm. I just didn't. I, uh. I started in theater. I went to Yale Drama School, and mm -hmm. I, I had always done theater, and I've really gone back to doing theater, which gives me much more time to be with my children. Right. Um, I mean, raising my kids nice. has been the greatest, right. that's the greatest thing I could do, and theater works better with that schedule now. Right. Uh, so this is at LA Theater Works, which is, has anyone ever been to a radio drama? Yes. Yeah, the, yeah, the radio, old-time radio. Oh, that's what this that's is. That's what, this is a group, if anyone's interested in, this is called LA Theater Works. And we rehearse for a few days, mm -hmm. and then audiences come in for five, six performances, and there's a Foley stage. Yes. Right. So the audience can watch the actors uh, at microphones. We can't really look at each other to act. Yeah, so yeah. you have right. to really listen. Right. Because you're directional in your mic, and you see the guy at the Foley table yeah. over there making all the sounds. That all is right. amazing. Wow. Well, we can't wait to see it. We Kim, thank you so much for stopping by oh today. My goodness. If you're in the oh, LA so area, be sure to so check bad. out her play, <laughs> Spill. It runs tonight through the 20th, and you can get tickets through LA Theater Works, like she just said, and it will be recorded for future radio broadcasts, digital download, and online streaming. So exciting.